Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to see how we can create, edit or delete ledgers in SAP Business One. But before starting this video, if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to join this full course on Udemy or Skillshare, the link to both of these platforms will be attached with the description. So with this said, let's get started. To create a new chart of accounts or ledger, I'll go to financials and go to chart of accounts. Now I need to select the particular area where I want to create a new ledger. For example, I want to create a bank account named Silk Bank. So obviously it should lie in assets under current assets and under cash and cash equivalents. But the area where I want to place it, I'll first select it. For example, I want my new account to show just under cash at bank payroll. So I'll just select it first and then press control A. So you will notice on the left hand side, all the fields will get empty. So this is the new creation mode. So to mention the code, I have to follow this sequence that is double one, two, zero, double one, two, one and double one, two, two. It seems like there is no difference in number means it is consecutive number after double one, two, one comes double one, two, two. So what I'll do is I'll put double one, two, one. And instead of zero, I'll put one again and rest of them are zero and zero, one, zero, zero, one and zero, one. We will follow the rest of the code same as it is. Now my new bank account name is silk bank and the currency will be set on all currencies. It will automatically pick up PKR. Now remember that when you create bank account, you have to tick on cash account because it is used as a mode of payment, but for any other ledger, you don't need to tick on any of this option. Just press enter and you will see that our new bank account is created. Now, for example, if I want to delete any of the account, what I'll do is I cannot delete it from here. I'll just close it. I'll go to edit chart of accounts and let's select assets and click OK. Now I'll select this particular bank account and then right click on it and delete account. So it will be deleted, but I need to update it as well to save the changes. Now, just remember that if you have done any transaction within that ledger, then it cannot be deleted. It can only be deactivated after that. Just update and press OK. So this is how we create and delete chart of accounts in SAP. So that's it for today. I hope you liked the video and if you did hit the like button. Subscribe to our channel for all the future updates. This is Saad signing off from today's video. Take care.